now available on e-readers everywhere. From the author of the Simp Trilogy, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Sable Holcombs, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make with women and protect your job with Stop Simping in the Workplace, available on e-readers everywhere. Many of the brothers online who were on that YouTube hit list may see the two black women as the ones instigating all the drama. And while they see these women as the initial threat, they don't see the threat that's going on around them. Now, the bigger threat of a fascist and a fascist movement is this. It is not the leaders who are the most dangerous people in a fascist movement. It is the followers who are the most dangerous people in a, fa in a fascist movement. Because the followers are the ones who will go out and do things that make things worse. Now, when it comes down to your followers, these are the guys who are under are hiding in your comment threads. And these undercover simps believe that if they go out and read down the, the YouTube hit list and start flagging videos, what they're going to get are brownie points with these women out here and the women in the circumference of the black community. They think that if they do these good deeds for these women, these women will see them as favorable and approve of their behavior and that they may have some sort of possibility of getting some sort of attention from this woman. Now, this is completely insane when you really think about it because how is taking down somebody's channel going to get you the attention of a woman? But in the simp's mind, this is actually logical. He's sitting there thinking, oh, if I do these th this so-called good deed, what's going to happen is these women are going to see me as a favorable, they're going to see me as attractive, they're going to see me as a good boy. And what these guys don't understand is by taking these black men down, you're actually cutting your own legs out from under you because these black men on YouTube, these are guys are trying to help you. They're trying to give you information that will open your eyes to see the truth regarding the dysfunctional behavior of many of these black women. And what these women want to do is close the forum, and these enablers are going to sit here and go along with it because they think, oh, I'm going to get some sort of attention. I'm going to get some sort of approval. And they're saving up these brownie points in their head like green stamps, thinking, Oh, if I have all these green stamps, I can go out here to some black woman on the street, or I can go to one of these black women's YouTube channels, and I can redeem them for a date or some sort of attention. And usually, that's when this simp winds up getting egg all over his face. Because, again, as I've written in many of my simp series books, like Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, and Misadventures of Captain save -a What's going to happen to you is once you save up these brownie points, what's going to happen to you is she's not going to, you cannot redeem them with any woman because this is a covert contract. And this is what simps do. They get, they make these covert con, they go and see a woman in, who was in a distress or starting some sort of drama, and he's going to go and put on his Cap, Ben Cooper Captain Save Him cape and Mickey Mouse galoshes. And he's going to come to her rescue. And when she comes to him as the damsel in distress and tells her a problem, he's going to come in and try to solve that problem by fending off the evil enemies of black women. So that's what these guys do. And these guys lurk in your comment thread, because I've seen them lurk in my comment thread. Whenever I, make, and whenever I make a simp video, here they are coming up upset and angry because I'm revealing information that pretty much tells the truth on them. And what these guys want to do is keep everybody in the dark so they because they think they're going to get some sort of brownie point again with these females. They think they're going to get her attention and her approval by going out here and destroying these other black men's channels. Unfortunately, what they wind up doing is becoming like crabs in a bucket, working against themselves and keeping black men at the bottom when all these brothers are trying to do is try to help move you ahead in life so that you won't wind up 
falling into a pitfall where you will either wind up dead or in prison or jacked up by one of these females and their silly campaigns. Because this type of campaign is being led by these types of females to keep the black community in the dark. They hate the fact that black men have a forum and they have a podium on social media and that they are presenting and sharing information. And because black men are out here presenting and sharing information with each other, what they're doing in the, in, when they network is they are educating other young men to understand what's truly going on and presenting a view that many of these women don't like revealed. And a lot of the reasons why these women don't want this revealed is because it's going to dig up a lot of dirt on them. It's going to reveal a lot of truths about them. And they don't want anyone to find out about all the skeleton bones that are in their graveyard. Because there's a lot of skeleton bones in these black women's graveyards of all these dastardly deeds they have gone out and done. And if black men start talking to each other, what's going to happen is a lot of these truths are going to come out. And this man is going to start looking at this woman differently. And in the case of many of these black men who come from these single mother households, they're going to take that woman off the pedestal and look her directly in the eye. And the simps think that this is a bad thing. But no, it's a good thing when you can take that woman off the pedestal, stop deifying her, and see her for who she truly is, and see that these women who are leading these campaigns such as YouTube hit lists really do not care about you. They All they care about is getting attention for themselves, and they want to start a whole bunch of drama so that people will be talking about them, because they know if black men aren't talking about them, they start getting insecure, and what they want to do is get you guys riled up get you emotional, have you bickering and arguing with each other, and trying to defend who is indefensible. But the real course of action any real black man who understands logic and reason is going to do is they're going to say, look, you want to start this type of campaign, then we're going to go to Google and YouTube and file a lawsuit with them about our First Amendment rights. Because what we, what's being done with these type of hit lists is that there is a plan to try to silence black men so they won't have the forum and present information and share information. And when it comes down to these type of women, what they want to do is they use these foot soldiers and stormtroopers to go out and do their dirty work. And these guys are sitting there anticipating a reward for being the foot soldiers. But then all they're going to get at the end of the day, as I said in Misadventures of Captain Savo, is... What they're going to get is kryptonite doo-doo smashed in their face for all their so-called good deeds. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.